Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in a family of six children what is the probability that the family has three boys and we are going to use Pascal triangle in order to solve this problem. So if you would take a look at this triangle you would find that uh, here on the sides we have only ones, one for every row here. So it starts with the one and it ends with the one. Uh, what else? interesting here. Uh, you don't have to memorize all the numbers in order to build this Pascal triangle. There is certain logic uh, that we use in order to fill all the numbers. For example, this 2 we got just adding this 1 and 1. And this 3 we got just adding 1 and 2. And this 3 also. This 4 we got by adding 1 and 3. The 6 we got by adding 3 and 3. And this 4 we got by adding 3 and 1. So as you see it is very easy to fill this Pascal triangle. We just have to add numbers in the previous row in order to make numbers in the following row. So very easy. Another thing that you have to know about Pascal triangle that the first row here on the top is not number 1. So I'm talking about um, this row, actually, uh, this is row number 0. And number 1 would be this row. This is going to be number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and row number 8. So, basically, now we can return to our problem. Uh, in a family of 6 children, where only 2 variants of the sexes are possible, whether it can be a boy or a girl, how many variants we may have. Um, for example, let's this empty box would represent a child of unspecified sex. So three, four, five and six. So family of six children. How many uh, variants we have uh, for the first child. First child can be whether a boy or a girl. So two variants we have here. Second child also can be whether a boy or a girl. And this is true for every child in this family. So in order to find uh, total number of combinations of the different sexes, how this family may have uh, six children, we have to multiply all these numbers and we are going to get 64. So 64 different combinations uh, exist starting from all six children to be boys or all six children to be girls and many more combinations for example one boy and five girls or two boys and four girls or three boys and three girls. So total number of combinations would be 64. Now uh, when we know that we have uh, six children. So let's circle this six here. Now let's find uh, what this all numbers stand for. For example, we see here number one and number one here. So this number one basically means a combination uh, when uh, the family has all six children boys. First child, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth child would be a boy and only one such combination. Only one combination when a family would have all six children girls. First child girl, second, third, fourth, uh, fifth and sixth. So six children would be girls. Only one such combination. But we would have uh, six combinations how family may have uh, children uh, five girls and one boy. For example, take a look. Uh, first combination would be a girl, a girl, a girl, a girl, a girl and a boy. Another combination can be a girl a girl, a girl, a girl, a boy and a girl. 
Yet another combination can be a girl, a girl, a girl, a boy, and then two girls. Uh, another combination can be uh, a girl, a girl, then a boy, and a girl, a girl, and a girl. And another combination would be first child a girl, second would be a boy, and then four girls in a row. And the last combination would be when first child is a boy, and then we have five girls. So now let's count how many such combinations we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the six stand for the uh, six combinations for the family to have uh, five girls and one boy. And also you see here six that stand for the probability of family of having five boys and one girl. And um, let me list all the probable combinations. So we start with uh, six boys. So six boys. Another combination would be five boys and one girl. Another combination can be four boys and one girl. We also may have three boys and three girls. We may have two boys and uh, we may have four girls and we also may have one boy and five girls. And the last combination when all six children would be girls. So uh, we have basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven uh, combinations. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically now uh, this one, when we have uh, six boys in a family, the six stand for the combination when family would have five boys and one girl and this 15 stand for the variant when family would have uh, four boys and one girl. This number 20 in the middle stands for the number of variants how family may have three boys and uh, three girls. This number 15 uh, stands for the number of combinations of having two boys and uh, four girls. This six stands for the number of combinations of having one boy and five girls. And we have one variant uh, when family would have all six children, girls. So now you understand what uh, each number in each row stand for. For example, if we would have five children, we would have different numbers. If we would have three children, we would have also different number of combinations. So now the last uh, step would be to find probability that uh, exactly three children would be boys. And as you see, uh, this number 20 in the middle stand for the variant when family would have three boys and three girls. So we have 20 such combinations out of, as you remember, out of uh, 64 total number of combinations. So 64, if we add all the numbers in the row, we are going to get 64. So 1 plus 6 plus 15 plus 20 plus 15 plus 6 plus 1 would be 64. So these numbers represent total number of combinations and 20 of them would be when a family would have exactly three boys. So we can say that the answer would be 
20 out of 64. And this is how we solve this problem using Pascal triangle. You just have to understand what each number here stands for. And for example, if the question would be in a family of three children, what is the probability uh, that the family uh, would have uh, one boy and two girls? And the answer would be 3 out of uh, 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1, 3 out of 8. Another question can be, uh, what is the probability that in a family of four children, uh, two children would be exactly girls? And once again, this is going to be 6 out of uh, 5 plus 5 would be 10 plus 6 would be 16. 6 out of 16 combinations uh, would be probability that family would have two girls or two boys, exactly two boys. Or we can say 4 out of 16 would be probability that uh, three children would be girls and one boy. The same answer would be that three children would be boys and one girl. So as you see it is very easy now to use this Pascal triangle to solve this type of problems. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.